Hi guys, welcome back. So today, of course, you guys know <laughs> that I love palettes and so I have another palette that I wanted to go ahead and test out and use and do a first impression on today. And it's the palette that I used to create this eye look today. The palette I'm talking about, you guys, is this new Tarte Tartiest Pro Remix palette. Now, you guys, you see this packaging on this palette? Super cute, right? Very, very cute. It looks like somebody threw some cans of paint on it and it just went crazy. So, yes, this did catch my attention, of course. Very, very quickly it caught my attention. And typically, I don't buy Tarte products. I've just never really been drawn to Tarte, their eyeshadows, anything, it, face products, anything that has to do with makeup. I'm just typically not drawn to Tarte, but this palette got my attention for sure. So this is actually the box for the palette. As you can see, it's very, very pretty. Now on the back of the box, <laughs> okay, now have you guys ever seen this many ingredients listed on a package before? No, I have not, but yeah, those are what I assume are <laughs> the ingredients for all of these shadows. Now, there are several different types of shadows in this palette. Let me just go ahead and list those for you. There are six to be exact, and they are matte, luster, metallic, duochrome, shimmer, and floating glitter. So, yes, there are quite a few different types of <laughs> shadows in this palette, so that's probably why the ingredients list looks like that. Pretty crazy. Now for Tarte, this palette is cruelty free as you can see the little bunny on the back. But this is the box. Now this is the actual palette itself. I love this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see it has the same design as the box. Now I don't know if you can tell but as I tilt the package it is a bit reflective so you can kind of see the paint splatters moving around coming and going so I think that's really really cool about this palette. It does kind of have like a vinyl feel to it. I guess that's how I would describe it. It feels like a record like a vinyl record so that is very cool as well and as you can see it's a nice nice thickness of palette nicely weighted in the back is this gorgeous gold and it says tardius pro on the back pro remix on the back now this palette i guess is supposed to be a companion palette for the original tardius pro palette which i do not have the palette looks kind of a little bit boring to me <laughs> so it's not something that i would be drawn to so no i don't have that palette but when you open this palette up, I'll just go ahead and hopefully not blind you. As you can see, it says Tardiest right there on the mirror. And, and this is what this palette looks like inside. So as you can see, there's some really, really pretty shadows in here. I mean, just gorgeous. Now, this palette does not look like... I would imagine it to look with the type of packaging. While there are some very pretty colors in here it doesn't look like a clown car exploded in this palette you know it's definitely not a James Charles type of palette or crayon case type of palette there's just some really pretty pops of colors in this palette now you can just just looking at this palette you can see the different textures that are in here the mattes and glitters and shimmers and metallics and all that stuff you can see it just by looking at it right here and this palette it might not be for everyone it could be a little dizzying looking at it because of all the paint splatter on the palette but it's pretty to me i like it it's different to me it's kind of original and i think for tarte this is like <laughs> really something I think for them. This is really them stepping out of their comfort zone and really trying to open themselves up to a new market, which I feel like they kind of did because of the fact that, like I said, I never purchased from Tarte, but this caught my attention. The only other Tarte palette I believe I purchased is the clamshell one that they came out with. And that was mainly for the packaging. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's mainly for the packaging. Uh, as well as some of the shades in there were pretty also. But enough of my rambling about this palette, you guys. I want to go ahead and do some swatches 
from this palette just so you can kind of see what I mean by there's some pops of color but it's not extremely unique it's not colors that you can't find in other palettes So as you can see, you guys, this palette is very, very pretty. Um, although there are some gorgeous shades in here, shimmer shades as well as matte shades, I wouldn't say that it is a extremely unique palette by any means. And like I said, it's not one that you would look at as like a rainbow type palette, but it's very, very pretty and I love these shadows. As you can see, they do have some that do kind of shift colors. This one here has a really pretty floating glitter and this one is kind of like a shifting dual chrome down here. So there are some really, really pretty unique shades in here, but it's not anything that I don't think you can find in other palettes. Now this palette retails for $49, which is a pretty hefty price tag to me for a eyeshadow palette. Um, I kind of gauge eyeshadow palettes as far as pricing goes with the brand for one, the packaging, the quality of the shadows, and just kind of the overall look and feel of the palette. Now for this palette, this is a very nice palette, you guys. Very, very nice luxury, <laughs> just a beautiful palette. So as far as whether or not it's worth $49, that's up to your own discretion. Me personally, I feel like the packaging is gorgeous and I feel like the shades in here are very nice so $49 I would expect that it's a Tarte palette now of course as you guys know sometimes if I can't find dupes for you guys I do like to do that and I did look high and low <laughs> in my collection looking for a dupe for you guys and while some palettes had colors that are exactly the same as the colors in this palette some of them had similar shades and as far as a palette having every single shade that's in this palette, no, I did not find one. But the closest palette I did come to finding to dupe this palette is actually, funny enough, one of my new Profusion palettes. And you guys know I love Profusion. And so I just started swatching this Profusion Temptress palette and found that a lot of these shades are similar to the shades in here and even the specialty type shades that are in this Tarte palette you could layer and kind of you know mix two shadows together from this Profusion palette to create colors that look exactly like the ones in here so let me just show you this opened up I know this glare okay so this is the Tarte palette and this is the Profusion Temptress palette. So as you can see, it does carry some of the same shades and same colors. Now, of course, you might kind of beg to differ over the quality, I'm sure is not the same, but trust me, you can get <laughs> the same type of eye look from this palette as you can from this. And actually, I think one day I am going to do that. Do Profusion on one side and do um, the tart on another side so let me just go ahead and stick a photo because I don't want to do all these swatches again I'm gonna stick a photo that I took of these two palettes swatches um, right next to each other so you can see what I mean about the similarity So like I said, the Tarte palette retails for $49, which is a very nice hefty price tag. The Profusion, as you guys know, is only $10. $10, $10 okay? So it's worth a try. If you don't have it, you like this palette, and you want something similar, go ahead and try this Profusion because it's very, very similar, you guys. So enough of me rambling on about that. Just my first impression thoughts on this palette. 
I'm glad I got it. I really am. I have really been trying to be more particular and more specific with all the palettes that I buy and the reasons that I buy them. And this one, from the day I saw it, I knew I wanted it. From the day I saw it, even, you know, before swatching it or anything like that, just because I love this packaging. I do love the mix of colors that are in here. And like I said, I really don't purchase Tarte palettes, so I really wanted this one for my collection. I like it. I think if you did purchase it, you definitely will not be disappointed. The quality of the shadows is very, very nice. No complaints. I mean, they blend it out very nicely. <laughs> the shimmer shadows, the specialty shades, and the, the glitter-infused shadows that they have in here are very very pretty i'm very happy with the eye look that i created with this palette today so i have to say yes i am happy that i purchased this palette do i think that everybody needs to go out and purchase this palette for 49 dollars? of course not absolutely not especially not when there are companies like perfusion giving you the same type of shades same type of colors that you can mix and match and create basically the same types of looks for ten dollars <laughs> so I say if you are in the market for this Tardius Pro Remix palette if you do like higher-end makeup and you do like the Tarte formula I would say go ahead check it out go swatch it look at it smell it it smells good too <laughs> But just kind of look at it, get a feel for it, because like I said, it is a very nice palette. I like it. I mean, you know, you see the swatches here for yourself. Yes, they're still on my arm. <laughs> and it's it's a nice palette. I really don't have anything negative to say about this. I'm glad that I purchased it for my collection. So if you'd like to see how I use this palette to create this look today, stay tuned, because it's coming up next.